Hello students and parents, this is Ms. Nguyen and today I'm going to be teaching you about financial literacy. Let's read our daily objectives. I can explain that saving is an alternative to spending and calculate money saved. And I can distinguish between a deposit and a withdrawal. Let's look at our vocabulary for the lesson. Save, accumulation, deposit, withdrawal. Save is when you save something, such as money. You are putting it aside to use later. Accumulation is the amount of money that can grow over time when you save. Deposit is to put money into the bank. Withdrawal is to take money out of the bank. Let's talk about saving. Sally earned money for doing chores around the house last week. She spent some of the money but also saved some of it or put it aside to use later. When you save money and continue to add to that saved money, the total amount of money you save increases or grows over time. This is called accumulation. Sally saved the following amounts. On Monday, she saved 10 cents. On Tuesday, she saved 20 cents. On Wednesday, she saved 10 cents. On Thursday, she saved 10 cents, and on Friday, she saved five cents. So she accumulated a total amount saved of 55 cents for the week. Here is a number sentence representation of her savings. What do you notice? Let's practice. Use real coins if they are available to help you answer these questions. Read the following story. Tony gets an allowance every week. He saved 15 cents from his allowance last week and 25 cents from his allowance this week. How much money did Tony save last week and this week? Here's a challenge question that you can also answer. How much more money does Tony need to save if he wants to save a total of 100 cents? Part two of this practice is to answer the following questions. How can you calculate how much money a person can save over a week? What can you do with money you receive instead of spending it right away? And explain why it would be important to save money for later. You can find this practice attached to your email sent from your teacher. Let's talk about deposit and withdrawal. Deposit is when you put money in to the bank and a withdrawal is when you take money out of the bank. Piggy banks help us save money. When we put money into the piggy bank, we are making a deposit. Deposits help add money to the bank and make the amount that you have saved grow larger over time. And when you grow up and become an adult, you can actually make deposits into a real bank. Let's look at the examples. John earned $1 for cleaning his room. He put 75 cents into the piggy bank to use later. Because he put 75 cents into the piggy bank, he made a deposit. Keisha earned 75 cents for washing dishes. She put 50 cents inside a shoe box. And because she put 50 cents inside a shoe box, she also made a deposit. We can also take money out of the piggy bank. We call this a withdrawal. Withdrawals remove money, causing the money inside the piggy bank to decrease or become less. Let's look at the examples. 
Martin takes out 25 cents out of the piggy bank to buy gum, and Kendra removes 50 cents of her shoebox to buy a raffle ticket. Because these friends are taking money out of their bank, they made a withdrawal. Here's your practice. Read the following situations and determine whether each is a deposit or a withdrawal and explain why. Situation A, Coach Nolan put $2.75 inside a piggy bank to use to buy a basketball later. Situation B, Miss Stewart took out 52 cents of her shoebox to buy pencils for her son. Situation C, Kendrick earned 80 cents for washing clothes. He saved all his money inside a piggy bank. This practice can also be found attached to the email sent by your teacher. Keep up the great work. That's all for today. Have a great day.